so good morning students uh, our first practical that is based upon the introduction part and installation of the ensp software so basically this is uh, software the based upon networking part and that software is comes from the huawei so before the start of installation i'm just going to introduce this ensp software but basically it is a network simulator in this software we will create some topology where we can apply some different type of protocols like like T, uh, tcp like ospf like rip here we just apply with the help of this simulation software so now i am going to start the installation part of ensp software so here i am just <coughs> so this is the setup of ensp now we will double click on that so we have to uh, say yes to publishing the and changing this device click on the yes so after that welcome to the enterprise network simulation platform basically uh, that is comes from the huawei i'm just going to explain again so click on the next button then we have to accept all the agreements because this is our license software so this is a path where our ensp is installed and this is the name of the folder where we just create the shortcut key with this name ensp then after that if you want to create a shortcut on a desktop you just click on the create a desktop icon just click on the check box then next so here there are, these are the some optional software is we need some software in our future labs like we need wireshark also we need virtual box also we need vencap also so now here we just click on the next if you people are having already having this these software on your laptops you just ignore this the installation part so you just click on the this check box it will not install if you have already having this software on your laptop because these are the requirement for our next practicals so click on the next and click on the install so now files are extracting so it may take sometimes uh, approx 1 to 2 minute if your systems having good ram then it will install fast as compared to other devices <clears throat> so see there are n number of devices we can create in this software we can create wlan also that means wireless lan we can create wireless lan we can create as well as uh vlan also so here now again asking if you want to install when cap then click on the next again we have to agree these license agreements click on the install then close this wizard then after that it will, it will install the wireshark so again if i want to click on the next button and i want i have to agree these all the uh, <coughs> documents then after that click on the next button so this is the path where are we must be going to install then click on the next now our wireshark is going to install on this device so installation part is successfully completed click on the next button and finish <coughs> now it is going to
So now third part is the virtual box because we have to uh, install this virtual part because we required this virtual box. So click on the next button. So this is a procedure to install the Wireshark. So click on the next. If you want to create a shortcut on your desktop, again, same procedure. If you want to create shortcut, just click on this button. Otherwise, click on the next. So again, we have to click on the yes, then click install. So virtual box is going to install. So click on the finish part. So close this icon, then finish and launch. Okay, so this is the interface of ENSP software. So after the successfully installation of the ENSP, we will get this interface. So this is a interface of ENSP software. In this case, we are having different types of connections. Okay, types of connection like first one is a routers. So when you just click on the router button, we will get these types of routers. So this is our first router, AR201, AR1220. These all are the types of the router. When we required the configuration part of the router, on that time we just select one of them. After that, we are having different types of switches. If you can see here is a written uh, switches and these three are the switches for the communication part. When we required these switches, we just drag this switch on a center of the screen. So it will automatically reflecting. After that, we are having WLAN. You want to create a WLAN on the particular topology. You just select out of them. Then after that, we are having the firewall. If you want to create a firewall on your network, you just click on the firewall button. The next that is end devices. End devices means our PCs. PCs, clients, if you want to create a, a wireless network on that time, uh, if you required cell phones. So again, you just click on the PC, then drag to the center of it is like suppose i'm going to explain so this is our pc any device any device if you want to require you just suppose you want to require one router for the communication part you just click on the router then drag over there if you want to switch to click on the switch which type of switch you required for making a connection you just drag over there then after that, after that, we are having other devices. Other devices, devices that means if you create, if you want to create a cloud, if you want to create a cloud, again, same, just click on the cloud and drag over there. Then after that, we are having custom devices types. Okay, then after that, we are having different connections. Connections, that means, you people are uh, very much familiar with the uh, connection part because you already learned about the uh, different types of cables, whether we are using serial cable, copper cable. So here, first cable that is auto. Auto cable that is compatible with all the types of the cables, whether you required a serial cable, whether you required a copper cable. Again, you just click on the auto cable then you will see the icon is like this then after that click on the pc then if you want to connect with the router then click on this again if you want to create a connection between router to switch just click on the router and click on that particular switch then after that how we can remove this icon our connection icon and on that time you just press escape key after pressing escape key you will remove this connection button we have some uh, different title menus 
so in this title menu we have one option that is show all interface because right now they are not showing the all the interface so you just click on the show interface it will tell the connection between these two devices here we are just connected one ethernet port and here is a port number 0 slash 0 slash 1 is a port number and in router side we are having the port number 0 slash 0 slash 0 same like here here that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 so these all are the port numbers if you want to create or uh, if you want to change these port numbers you can change with the help of selection the copper wire or serial cable if you want to connect a copper cable you can create or define your available ports so right now there is no available port we just press on escape key <coughs> then we will create a different part after making a connection or after creating your topology you just click on the start button so here start button that start your topology right now the color is red after starting or after uh, imp implementing this topology after assigning protocol uh, protocols ip address to the particular pcs then you have to start this topology so before the start of topology you must know about this part text part suppose i'm just going to click on the text part then after that i'm just going to click on here i want to assign ip address like 172.10.10.10 11 for this particular pc so we will write here like this in examination in final exam you will get these type of topologies if i want to create uh, assign a particular ip uh, ip address to this particular switch i'm just going to click on the text button and you will write here suppose 172.10.10.15 then so that means this pc is having ip address of this one and this pc is having ip address of this one then after that if you want to save this topology you just click on the uh, if you want to create a new topology you just click on the new topology if you want to save this topology you just click on the the save button so you just write the name of the topology suppose this is our first lamp we are just going to write the name first and our name of name of file is first here you can just see our name of file is first and by default by default we can say that the extension of this topology is topo that is topo topo that means topology you can see here again i'm just going to save this button and i'm going to click on a save as so here save as type that is topo so topo is an extension of ensp this simulator so topo that means we are going to create some of topologies <coughs> then after that so suppose uh, if we want to use copper cable how we can use the copper cable you just click on the copper click on a pc it will show the by default ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 because now we are going to connect first port number so after clicking on this you just click on the switch part so after clicking on the switch part it will show the number of available ports. Suppose this switch is having a 24 port switch. So this switch is having a 24 port because first port is already connected. As you can see, first port is already connected with this switch. That is 0 slash 0 slash 1. Then after that, if we want to connect another port, we just click on that. Then after that, if you want to click on the gigabit Ethernet 2. So it will show the gigabit ethernet 2 after that if 
I again I want to connect this PC with this switch and click on this PC. Then after clicking on that, so gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero slash one and two. These two port numbers that cannot be shown. So again, it will show only three. If I want to connect four, so it will show the zero slash zero slash four. Then after that, click on the escape button. I'm just going to clarify this. So this is our port number one that is connected with this switch to this one router. Then G gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero slash two port number that is connected with this PC. That is PC number two. Then after that, gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero slash four port number that is connected with PC three. Again, I am going to use one another PC. I'm just going to drag over here and making a connection between switch and PC. Going to click here and oh sorry. Again, I'm going to select the copper cable. Then again, gigabit Ethernet one port, and after that, switch. Because we already use our gigabit Ethernet G E zero slash zero slash four, so that is why zero slash zero slash one port number and two port number and four port number they are not showing in the given list. Because three is free right now. If I want to click on the three, it will assign gigabit Ethernet three over here. Like I'm just going to show like this. Like this. So here, that means this switch is having a 24 ports. First port is connected to this router. Second port is connected with PC2. Third port is connected to PC4. And fourth port is connected to PC3. Again, if I want to connect these two PC between them, again, I'm just going to. We will connect with the help of other ways. How we can connect these two pieces? We can manage with point to point communication on that time. So then, okay, students, take care. So, this is all about the introduction and installation part of uh, ENSP software. If you are having doubt, you can contact me anytime. So, okay. Bye students.